What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be checking out another home theater setup from Ascendo, including this little guy right here. This is the Ascendo V6. So as some of you guys know, I did get rid of my Bowers & Wilkins CT7.4s. Those have gone over to a new home, and now I'm auditioning some new speakers to be my new reference speakers that all other home theater speakers have to live up to. And the first one being these guys here. And after leaving the location in Germany a few weeks back, I got to experience the larger system, which uh, contained, you know, the, the micro LED speakers and the 12 inch versions of these guys. So I'm expecting hopefully some similar performance with these ones, even though it's gonna be in my theater, which is a lot smaller than the 12 inch versions. And again, thanks to the Ascendo guys for sending this over for me to review. So these do come double boxed. Inside the box, we get some documentation, the manual. We get some anchors and some screws and the Phoenix connector. And here's the speaker itself which comes in a nice little cloth bag. So this is, like I said, a pretty small speaker. Let's give it a quick little measurement. Size-wise, it measures about 10 and a quarter inches wide by about 17 and a quarter inches in height. And counting the grill, it is about three and a half inches deep. I'll put the exact measurements on screen. So this does come with a magnetic grill. It's a fairly thin grill, so you can see where the magnets are located. And up front, we do have a coaxial driver. This is a six and a half inch woofer with a one inch tweeter in the center. The frequency response of this guy is 80 Hertz to 20 K. And the cool thing about the uh, coax drivers is that the high frequency response and then the lower frequency response will reach your ears at the same time rather than having like the tweeter up here and then the woofer down here. So this is very similar to like a Kef speaker. And as you can see also, this is a slotted ported design. So the slide is on the, above the driver. It's got the nice little Ascendo logo right on the bottom. Now, if you guys wanna mount this on your wall, there's a couple different mounting options. You can see that these four little holes right here they actually pass through the entire enclosure. So you would take those long screws and your screwdriver and drill the screws through the front of this front baffle into your wall. So this would lay solid and flush right against your wall. So that way you can, you know, if you're hitting some studs or whatever, or if you're just going into the drywall, this is gonna be light enough to where it's not gonna actually drop off the wall. And weight wise, it is light enough. It only weighs about 9.9 .9 pounds. Now swinging it around back, there are some more mounting options. You get your little keyhole slots. So if you want to mount it this way, you put some screws up on the top and it just hangs that way. Or if you want to mount it horizontally, you can mount it horizontally using these two. As far as connections, this does have the Phoenix connector. So which comes in the little bag in the accessories pouch. What you would have to do is strip your cables and take the bare wire into the little Phoenix connection and then you would just like slot it right in there. So if you're gonna do some pre-construction, you can get the little connectors, have them pre-wired, so when you're ready to hang the speakers, you would just pop the little adapter right in there. And of course, if you're laying this flush against the wall, there's a little, little canal here where you can run the wire straight through to keep the, keep the uh, enclosure flat against your wall so it doesn't bow out by having a cable present. So I'm not gonna unbox these ones because they are packaged exactly the same way, but you can see that this is what they call the six wedge. The other ones were just called the sixes. So this is in a wedge configuration. So if you wanted to hang this on your wall as such, you could hang it flat against your wall and it would angle either upwards, you could hang it on your ceiling this way and it would aim downwards at a 30 degree angle, or you could hang it from this way, and also it would shoot down at a 30 degree angle as well. But let's go ahead and measure this thing. This is obviously a lot smaller than the sixes. Size wise, we are looking at about nine and a half inches wide by about 10 inches high, and we are looking at about six and a quarter inches in depth. This weighs also the same 
weight as the regular sixes, which comes in at 9.9 .9 pounds. It's got the same exact six and a half inch coaxial driver. And then of course the frequency response of this guy is also the same as the regular six. Rated at 80 Hertz, it uses the same Phoenix connector, which is located on the bottom. It's got the nice little canal there, little entryway to run your cable through if you want this to lay flush on your wall. So it's got four keyhole slots there on the back for mounting points. And it's also got two more on the top or bottom uh, if you want to mount it from this orientation as well. These also come with these mounting brackets. So if you don't want to use this, the keyhole slots on the back, what you would do with these guys, these actually would mount by this little, little mounting insert there. You would take the bracket and once you screw that to the speaker, you can kind of aim the speaker in any orientation that you want once it's mounted on the speaker. So you can twist it just like so. So you can either mount it this way to keep it a nice clean flush look or if you want to reverse it and mount it that way, which would give you a little easier access to mount the miss on your ceiling or on your wall. So it looks something like that. And of course, this does come with the same type of magnetic grill. You got your two ports right here located on the speaker, which would just line up on the grill and it attaches magnetically. It's nice, tight, and secure. And I've got one more set of speakers for you guys to check out. These ones are the tens, which are also a larger version of the sixes. As you can see, these look exactly the same as the sixes, albeit they are a lot bigger. Size wise, it measures about 12 inches wide. It is about 19 and a half inches in height. And depth wise, it's around six inches deep counting the grill. This is a lot heavier than the sixes, coming in also at 38 and a half pounds. But just like the sixes and the six wedge, this is also a ported speaker that you can see right up here. The sixes have the little slot vent port. This one actually has two round ones. The Sendo logo on the bottom. And just like the sixes, this is also a coaxial driver with the tweeter located in the center. If you can see in the camera, this is kind of a transparent cone. So if you actually look through that, you can see where the tweeter is located. Now this is a 10 inch driver, unlike the sixes and the six wedges, which are six and a half inches. This is a lot bigger. And the frequency response of this is 75 Hertz. So it goes a little bit lower than the sixes. This mounts exactly the same way as the sixes. You got mounting points on the top. You got an extra mounting point in the lower corner there. So you can mount it either horizontal or vertical. And then connections, same Phoenix connectors as well, which also come in the package. So if you guys have been following the channel at all for any period of time, you guys have known that I've been on this search for finding very slim shallow mount speakers to fit my room because I don't have the biggest room. So recently I did review the Procella speakers, which are kind of similar in this respect as far as like dimensions. So they're fairly small and you can also mount them on your wall as well. I also did in the past, I think the PWM speakers from PSB. I also did the Dolly speakers, very similar form factor on wall speakers. But this is the latest models that I'm gonna be checking out. Hopefully these are gonna perform better than the other ones. Not that anything was wrong with those guys, but I'm expecting some pretty impressive things with this, especially coming from the place in Germany, the Arlitz Cinema. If you guys missed that video, I'll leave a link down below in this video's description for that. Amazing cinema, definitely check it out. And also, if you have not already checked out the video for the RSL speaker giveaway, I'll leave a link for that at the end of this video, also down below in this video's description. If you guys click on that video for the RSL speakers, I'm giving away that entire 5.1 speaker package. So definitely check out that video. Make sure you leave a comment on that video to be entered to win that entire speaker package. And as far as like speaker count, I do have eight of these guys, which are gonna go left, center, right, left surround, right surround, left surround, right back surround, also a center back. Which, which comes in at eight. I have six of these guys, the wedges. So I'm gonna have top, top front heights, top rear heights, and also I'm gonna have the extra pair which I'm gonna use as wide surrounds. So I'm gonna keep the sixes behind my screen, use those for a little bit, and then I'm gonna swap them out with three of these guys for left, center, and right, so I can hear if there's a massive difference between having the larger drivers over the smaller drivers. I'm assuming the larger drivers are gonna basically play louder, because I think these are rated to like something like 123 dB SPL 
These are rated at 117. This is also rated at 117. So obviously this is gonna play louder, but um, also go down a little bit lower since it is rated at 75 Hertz. And also, these speakers are also rated at 93 dB um, efficiency. So if you have some lower powered receivers or an amplifier, these speakers are gonna be super easy to drive. So I forgot to mention that when I was going over the specs, but 93 dB sensitivity. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, get these set up in the theater and I'll come back, give you some thoughts and impressions. And also check out that RSL uh, giveaway video. Leave your comments on that video as well. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.